From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. In India, Holi is more than just a festival. It's a celebration of life itself. Beyond its vibrant colours and exuberant celebrations, this festival embodies deep-rooted values of unity and joy. It truly exemplifies the rich tapestry of Indian culture and heritage. The festival's rituals such as the burning of Holika Dehen and the playful throwing of Gulal reflect this renewal and anticipation of brighter days ahead. Take a look. <laughs> In the heart of India, as winter ends and the aroma of spring begins to dance in the air, an occasion unlike any other emerges, Holi, the festival of colours. On the auspicious day of Falgun Purnima, individuals in the country unite in a festive chorus, painting the canvas of life with colours of joy, friendship, love and unity. The festivities begin with Holika Dehen, a ritual where bonfires are lit to symbolize the triumph of good over evil. As the sun sets, the real magic of Holi unfolds. The streets turn into a canvas of colors where age and caste dissolve into the joy of celebration. The essence of Abir, Gulal and flowers creates a festive environment. And when it comes to satisfying their sweet tooth, the delectable dessert known as Khujia holds a special place. यहाँ है रंगों का उत्सव और हम सब मिलके बहुत खुशियों से बहुत दिन से प्रतीक्षा करने के बाद आज का दिन हम लोगों को मिलता है और हम लोग जी जान से इसको खेलते हैं। Holi is not just about ancient myths, but also about fostering bonds of friendship and forgiveness. Located in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, Mathura holds immense significance during the festival of Holi. One of the most famous traditions of Mathura Holi is the Latmar Holi, which takes place in the towns of Barsana and Nandgaon, located near Mathura. The tradition of Latmar Holi sees women playfully hitting men with sticks, symbolizing the love between Radha and Krishna. So nice and it's so much fun. It's so colorful and I love it here. So different. I have never experienced this much co culture and so much color. Color, no place like I've ever experienced before. While the Holi festival is mainly recognized for using brightly colored powders, there's a different yet unique version called Masan Holi, also named Manikarnika Holi in Varanasi. This unique event involves playing with bhasm or ashes amid burning pyres and is significant when it comes to culture and religion. Holi is celebrated with great pomp not only in Varanasi but also in Maharashtra. Rajwadi Holi, a centuries-old tradition in Maharashtra Satpura region, is popular among the tribals. Tribal people playing Rajwadi Holi participated in the festival in their traditional dresses and performed folk dances. Rajwadi Holi fosters social unity and mutual respect, embodying the vibrant spirit of tribal culture. स्पेशल बनारस में आए हैं होली खेलने के लिए बहुत अच्छा लगा यहाँ सुना था हमने बहुत होली स्पेशल होता है इसलिए इस बार होली के लिए यहाँ आए हैं होली ट्रांसेंस रिलिजियस बाउंड्रीज एंड इस सेलिब्रेटेड बाय पीपल ऑफ वेरियस फेट्स अक्रॉस इंडिया थाउजेंड्स ऑफ सिख डेविटीज इन इंडिया गैदर्ड एट तख्त श्री केसगर साहिब इन पंजाब स्टेट टू विटनेस अ डिस्प्ले ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल मार्शल आर्ट्स ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ होला मोहल्ला the main attraction of the festival, which coincides with Holi, the Hindu festival of colors, is a display of horse riding and sword fighting by the Sikh warrior Order Nihangs. 
The annual festival commemorates the transformation of Sikh community into a martial fraternity by their 10th spiritual leader, Guru Gobind Singh. सानू बड़ी खुशी है भी ऐसी इतने अपने यहाँ ते ते सेंगम में लाकार दे बड़ी खुशी है इस दी ते सेंग सेंग को ढे बाजी नेजे बाजी ते गातका खेड़ के पूरी चढ़ती कला नाला उधर जाहो जलाल कार दे या while Holi has its roots in Hindu mythology and is primarily associated with Hindu culture, in some areas of India, you may find Muslim artisans also involved in making traditional Holi items such as Gulal Gota, contributing their craftsmanship to the vibrant atmosphere of the festival. Gulal Gotas are made by Muslim lakh makers called Manihars. The artisan community based in Jaipur is diverse with craftsmen and women from various backgrounds and religious affiliation contributing to the city's rich cultural heritage. हमारे साथ पीढ़ियों से जो है हम ये गुलार गोटे बना रहे हैं और रॉयल फैमिली को दे रहे हैं और सबसे पहले हमारे जो लाख के गुलार गोटे हैं ये भगवान वहाँ पे वृंदावन में जाते हैं और वहाँ पे इससे होली खेलते हैं। Indian festivals bring people together, breaking down social barriers and fostering a sense of camaraderie. In addition to traditional celebrations, modern holy festivities often include musical festivals, parties and events organized by various communities and commercial entities. These events attract people from diverse backgrounds and add a contemporary touch to the ancient festival. Holi is a festival where every color tells a story and every moment is a celebration of life. Surat in India's western state of Gujarat is renowned for its cultural variety and prosperous diamond commerce. The Surat Diamond Boss, recognized as the largest office building globally, symbolizes its leading role in the diamond sector. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's inauguration of this significant structure has elevated Surat's global reputation in diamond trading. This initiative is projected to generate employment opportunities. Take a look. The city of Surat in India's Gujarat state, often known for its cultural and religious diversity, has long been an attraction for the world owing to its centuries-old flourishing trade market. This uniqueness has also pulled people from diverse backgrounds to the city. Thereby, Surat, often regarded as Diamond City, is popular for its diamond business worldwide and is considered the center of the diamond trade. Surat Diamond Bourse, located in Surat City, was developed as a diamond trading center and is the largest building in the world. With that, its establishment is said to add another feather. It is believed to further elevate Surat's global standing in the diamond industry. This magnificent building encompasses a vast 660,000 square meters, is a collaborative effort by over 4,200 diamond traders. There are more than 4,500 interconnected offices in the building where approximately 65,000 diamond traders can easily work together and will be provided with all the basic facilities. Pura Diamond Boots, Bharatiya Design, Bharatiya Designers, Bharatiya Material, और भारतीय कॉन्सेप्ट के सामर्थ्य को दिखाता है ये बिल्डिंग नए भारत के नए सामर्थ्य और नए संकल्प का प्रतीक है The construction of the Surat Diamond Bose is predicted to revolutionize the city's diamond industry. It will establish a world-class platform for foreign investors, significantly boosting diamond exports. The project is also expected to create 150,000 new jobs. About 90% of the world's polished diamonds are produced in Surat. 
that is once the raw diamonds are imported here they are polished and further exported the intricate art of diamond cutting and polishing has long been mastered by surat skilled artisans solidifying the city's reputation as a global leader in the diamond trade in the last few years the diamond business has flourished and the demand has increased in foreign countries as well due to which new dimensions are being established in the industry the diamond jewelry banane ke liye ya jewelry banane ke liye wo skill bhi surat mein abhi bahut achhi tarah se ho raha hai to wo hisab se abhi surat diamond jewelry hub bhi ho gaya hai according to reports India exports diamonds worth 23 billion US dollars annually. Some of the countries where diamonds and diamond-based jewelry are exported include America, Europe, the Middle East and South Africa. Many policies and schemes of the government are making it easier to do business in this sector, due to which foreign investment is also increasing. वर्ल्डवाइज जो डायमंड कट एंड पॉलिश हो रहा है उसमें से 80 परसेंट सूरत में हो रहा है क्योंकि इससे इजरा तरसने का जो काम हो रहा है यहाँ के सब कारीगर को बहुत अच्छी तरह से आता है और दुनिया में कंपटीशन में हम सबसे ज़्यादा कट एंड पॉलिश अच्छा बना रहे हैं The Indian government is actively investing in Surat's infrastructure to attract both domestic and international businesses. This includes the recent upgrade of Surat Airport to international status and the construction of a new terminal building, initiatives poised to significantly boost the city's commercial activity. The various efforts being made to promote the diamond industry will not only lead to the development of Surat city but will also provide more benefits to the economy of the entire country. And now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Mumbai witnessed the convergence of stars at the Ajio Grazia Young Fashion Awards 2024. This highly anticipated event guaranteed an evening filled with elegance and stunning appearances embodying the bold essence of fashion and style. Popular Bollywood figures like Rasika Duggal, Ananya Pandey, Karan Johar, Shraddha Kapoor and many others graced the award show. Houseboats in Dal Lake attracted a large number of tourists in Srinagar. Each houseboat exudes timeless charm and hospitality with intricate woodwork vibrant kashmiri carpets and luxurious furnishings these houseboats of kashmir valley are iconic symbols of its serene beauty and unique lifestyle from a historical and heritage point of view houseboats have their importance which depicts kashmir's past these floating dwellings offer a tranquil retreat on the picturesque dal lake nigin lake and Jhelum River visitors experience the allure of Kashmiri culture while enjoying modern amenities such as cozy bedrooms and traditional cuisine they also enjoy the enchanting views of snow-capped mountains lush green gardens and shimmering waters right from their deck the gentle lapping of waves against the houseboat creates a soothing ambience perfect for relaxation and introspection The present image of Jammu and Kashmir is changing due to the ongoing execution of large scale development projects in the region. However, do you know that border area development is also receiving extra attention? People encounter numerous difficulties in these sensitive regions, which is why security forces are constantly on hand to ensure their safety. Various bunkers are being constructed in these locations to increase the protection of the residents and numerous other projects are being carried out to guarantee a better future for those who live here. We have a report. Jammu and Kashmir, often referred to as paradise on earth, is renowned for its magnificent natural beauty. 
Located in northern India, the Union Territory is known for its incredible snow-capped mountains, lush green valleys, calm lakes and clean rivers. But with its political standing and security situation continuing to draw significant concern both within India and globally, Jammu and Kashmir remains a complex and sensitive region. In a proactive move aimed at enhancing the safety and security of residents in border areas, the authorities in Jammu and Kashmir have commenced the construction of community bunkers. These community bunkers, strategically positioned in key border regions, are poised to serve as vital sanctuaries during the time of crisis, offering refuge and protection to inhabitants facing imminent threats. Equipped with essential amenities including food supplies, gas cylinders and uninterrupted electricity, these shelters are designed to sustain individuals and families for extended durations, ensuring their well-being and comfort even in adverse conditions. When we have been here, we have been able to live in our own homes. We have been able to live in our own homes. We have been able to live in our own homes. We have been able to live in our own homes. We have been able to live in our own homes. Similar bunkers have been constructed in other areas near the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir as well. Bunkers are already prepared in many areas while construction work is still underway in some places. In 2018, the Indian government sanctioned the construction of 14,460 bunkers with a budget of 415.73 crore rupees. Over 8,000 bunkers have already been completed in the initial phase, surpassing the plan of 9,000 bunkers. 2018 के बाद पांच-छह साल शेलिंग का भी काफी दबदबा रहा कि नहीं हुई। बट अब रिसेंटली जो शेलिंग हुई है, इसमें काफी लोगों की जो जान है, वो बच सकी है ड्यू टू बंकर्स। The presence of bunkers makes people living in these areas feel safer, allowing them to live their lives without fear. The government is providing full support for the construction of these bunkers and is striving to further develop them. Many remote and border areas of Jammu and Kashmir, which previously lacked facilities, have seen a significant improvement in the lives of people in recent years. There is also a strong focus on empowering women, such as providing free training in handicrafts, enabling them to enhance their skills in sewing, embroidery and knitting. बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया अदा करती हूँ ज़्यादातर बैंक वालों का और डिपार्टमेंट का कि हमें हर डिपार्टमेंट वाले मतलब बुला लेते हैं क्योंकि सबसे पहले तो ये बात है हमारे हाथ में कुछ है तो वो हमें आगे बुलाते हैं तो वो हमारी हेल्प करते हैं हम भी उनके पीछे चलते हैं Several government initiatives are underway to improve the lives of people living in remote areas of Jammu and Kashmir. Along with better infrastructure development, a ray of hope has emerged among the residents here. Road and bridge construction is also underway to better connect these regions along with improvements in water and electricity supply. The development projects undertaken by the government in the remote border areas of Jammu and Kashmir are changing the lives of the people here, allowing them to contribute not only to their own but also to the country's development. And now we bring you some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Casio ships many products worldwide including the Gakuhan Scientific Calculator to expand math education globally. Supported by students, professors and governments, Casio aims to enhance logical thinking skills among students through its Gakuhan Calculator. Casio Calculator is our baby project in Education Resource Center. We have a Casio Calculator lab for science and mathematics students. And that is to drive on the perfect use of our calculator to ensure accuracy. 
Casio's efforts extend beyond releasing scientific calculators to the market. The company is also committed to expanding education in logical thinking. This initiative aims to contribute to the attainment of a brighter future worldwide. JCB, Japan's first international credit card, ensures convenience for foreign tourists in the Tokyo metropolitan area. Annually, 9 million foreigners check in and check out at Narita Airport, where JCB provides a calm resting environment for foreign card holders. The Tokyo Metro Network is the most convenient transportation option in the Tokyo metropolitan area. It offers the Tokyo subway ticket and all you can ride pass for foreign visitors. Additionally, JCB provides original pass cases to foreign JCB card holders. JCB is targeting foreign visitors to the Tokyo metropolitan area. Its hospitality is dynamically shaped to provide a satisfactory tour experience for foreigners. Moving on, as part of a unique tradition, Hundreds of male devotees dressed up as women and performed annual prayer ritual recently at Hindu goddess Bhagwati's temple in Kolam in India's Kerala state. The men clad in saris decked up with heavy jewellery carried oil lamps and other prayer offerings to celebrate the festival. Take a look. Kerala, known as God's own country, is characterised by lush green landscapes, serene backwaters, pristine beaches and a vibrant cultural heritage. Kolam, a picturesque city situated on the southwestern coast of Kerala, serves as a dynamic cultural center infused with rich history and natural beauty. At the heart of Kolam's spiritual landscape stands the Kotan Kulangara temple, dedicated to the Hindu goddess Bhagwati, a river deity worshipped for her protective and benevolent powers. The temple serves as a focal point of religious and cultural activities, drawing devotees from far and wide to pay homage to the goddess and seek her blessings. Each year, as part of the temple's annual festivities, male devotees from various walks of life come together to participate in a unique ritual where they dress up as women to perform special prayers and offerings to the goddess. The act of male devotees dressing up as women for the temple ritual carries profound symbolism and spiritual significance. This tradition, locally known as Bhagwati Theyam, is deeply rooted in the folklore and religious practices of the region. On the day of the ritual, the transformed male devotees, adorned in women's attire and accessories, gather at the temple to commence the ceremony. For the devotees participating in this unique ritual, it is not merely a theoretical performance but a deeply rooted spiritual experience and devotional journey. The ritual has gained recognition beyond the borders of Kolam and Kerala, attracting tourists, scholars and cultural enthusiasts from around the world. Oh, the festival uh, Chamya Veluku is celebrated because in ancient times, uh, village uh, small kids were playing here and they found some coconut. So they wanted to break the coconut and eat that coconut. So they found a stone. So they tried to break the coconut on that stone. But some blood came out from that stone and the small kids got scared. So what they did, they went to the pujari, uh, the saint, and they asked, so they told that there's some uh, kid devotee power over here, like Adi Shakti, called as Goddess Bhagwati. So you start worshipping her. 
so they started worshiping her and what happened after worshiping her that time there was no woman so this small kid used to dress up as woman and they used to worship the goddess bhagwati so one day goddess bhagwati directly came and she gave the blessing ke once in a year uh, men should dress as woman across dress and worship me i'll be very happy so this is how this ancient uh, ye ye tradition from kerala ye started and everyone started ye ye coming and worshiping goddess bhagwati the unique ritual fosters a sense of community spirit and unity among the devotees transcending barriers of caste creed and gender it is a testament to the enduring power of faith tradition and cultural diversity it exemplifies the inclusive and dynamic nature of hindu religious practices while offering devotees a unique opportunity to express their devotion and reverence to the divine in a spiritually transformative manner that's all we have for you this week i'm your host pratiksha mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team <laughs>